BTUV is a TONB dependent E. coli transporter for cobalamin, which is vitamin B12. In this tutorial, we will build a BTUB containing E. coli outer membrane system. Type 1NQE in the text box. This time we will download the pre-oriented structure from the OPM database. Press the Next button until you see Orientation and Positioning options. Because we downloaded a pre-oriented BTUB structure from the OPM database, we don't need to change the protein orientation. BTUB is a beta barrel protein, so it has a pore inside of it. And this pore is supposed to be filled with water molecules. To generate the pore water, activate the Generate Pore Water and Measure Pore Size option. Click the Next button. First, select the Number of Lipid Components option and activate the LPS section in the table. Press the LPSA button to change the LPS sequence. Change the core type to K12 and put 2 for the number of O antigen repeating units. There are about 190 different O antigen types in E. coli, and you can change the O antigen type easily by clicking the O antigen name in the available O antigens table. Click O6 in the available O antigens table, and close the window by clicking Update LPS. In this tutorial, we will add 38 E. coli LPS in the upper leaflet. In the lower leaflet, we will add 75 PPPE, 20 PVPG, and 5 PVCL2. Once you're done with that, click the Show System Info button. Change the water thickness to 30 angstroms and proceed to the next step. In step 4, you can remove poor water molecules if their position is not appropriate. You can download the water-filled protein structure by clicking Step 2.1 Pore.pdb and check the position of pore water molecules. For example, if you don't like this water molecule to be here, remember the atom index of the oxygen atom and activate its number in the table. From here, the membrane building procedure is the same as with the previous tutorial.